Well, hello everyone. My name is Atiyah Rich and I thank you guys so much for joining me today on Full Face Friday. As you guys know, I came up with the concept of Main Focus Monday. Um, I was going through the comments on my last couple videos and a lot of you guys want to see a full face. So on today, I delivered. Now I'm going to tell you guys something. Please bear with me because I was all over the place sometimes. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and um, I really do appreciate all you guys feedback on Main Focus Monday and all my cooking. I really do appreciate it. So. Today I'm going to come uh, and try to do like a New Year's look. Um, I know a lot of people like to dab in glitters, so I delivered that today as well. But I'm more of a safe makeup artist, meaning I like to dab in a lot of golds and browns and dark maroons that look brown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Full Face Friday. And again, anything else you would like to see, make sure you put it in the comment box. I'll see you guys on Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram, you guys, you can follow me on all my media uh, media outlets. <clears throat> See, y'all got me so tired today, I can't even speak. But anyway, you can follow me on all my media outlets. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this Full Phrase Friday look. I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Check it out. So hey everyone, make sure you see the timeline below. And we're going to take the MAX 217 brush with the MAC Pro Long Concealer and NC45. You can also use a paint pot for this. Now we're just going to pat it down with a sponge. Next I'm just going to set it with Laura Mercier. You can also use banana powder. Now we're going to take the MAX 224 brush along with soft brown. Now we're going to take that same brush and go right under that with saddle. Next, we're going to take a color do jar brush along with MAC Woodwink eyeshadow. We're just going to pat that right there on the lid. Now we're going to take Danessa Myers. Oh my God, I love this. Her Bionic Gel Activated with MAC 195 brush and just pat that on the lid. And then we're going to take the NYX uh, De Bronze Glitter and we're going to pat that right on top of the gel. I love this stuff. And this is how it looks. Next, let's fill in the crease, the little edge, the little V in the corner. Let's do that with one of my faves. I love Max Intuit eyeshadow, along with the 221 brush. And next, just take any little Neutrogena pad you have, MAC wipe, and just wipe off the excess uh, eyeshadow. And I add a little more to the corner as well. Now let's take our Becker Ever Matte Poreless Primer, and I always do that in my T-zone area and of course my chin. Now on my favorite, I am loving this uh, Foundation Blurring Blush by e.l.f. along with my MAC NC47 Studio Fix Foundation. This is like one of my favorite brushes right now. I'm enjoying it. So now the foundation is complete, I'm just going to take the Black Beauty Blender and just pat it into the skin. And I'm so mad right now, I wasn't even recording my uh, concealer. Ugh. <laughs> so now let's continue. I am using the Pro Longwear NC42 and 45 Mixed. And I'm going to take my Black Beauty Blender. I only use Black Beauty Blenders because those Pink Beauty Blenders, they bleed. So I'm just going to do that uh, on my uh, under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my chin. I just want to make sure it's blended really, really well. So just take your time when you're blending. So as I apply the concealer to my forehead, I want to share with you guys how to blend the concealer into the foundation. Just turn your beauty blender sideways. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia's foundation stick in Espresso and we're going to contour. Now 
Now we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. And we're going to blend that in. And then I'm just going to go back in with the Beauty Blender and make a nice crease line. So I'm going in with my favorite blurring brush and I'm contouring my nose. And back in again with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going back in to make sure everything is blended perfectly. So now my favorite, we're going to take that Max 165 brush and we're going to go in with that NC42 Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation to set the concealer. I love this. Look at how beautiful that looks. So now I'm going to go in with my Dark Mineralizer and my Sonia Kashuk number 24 brush to set the face. Now let's take the Beauty Blender with the Laura Mercier powder. And keep patting till it absorbs. Now I'm going to apply MAC Dark Deepest Mineralizer with the MAC 129 brush. I'm applying it to the cheeks, my jawbone, my forehead, and my nose. Right here, I'm using a 1224 brush. And I'm going back in with my blurring brush, the best. So now I'm going back in with the 165 brush, and I'm going to sweep off the powder that hasn't absorbed. On the lower lash line, I'm going to apply the MAC I'm Into It eyeshadow with the 219 brush. I'm applying the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. And with the MAX 210 brush, I'm going to apply the Tardiest Eyeliner along with the uh, Lights Camera Action by Tarte. And off camera, I add the 747 lashes. And my favorite blush is Copper Tone with my MAC 129 brush. And OMG, I am so loving all of the Nessa Marks and Lights. Tonight, I'm going to use Aura of Attraction with the Color Du Jour fan brush. I am really enjoying her in lights. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks and also my lips and my nose. And this is an up close picture. Next is the lips, darling. One of my faves is Vino and another is Plum. I'm going to add this kind of dark. This is Max Vino. And I'm going to pad this with the Coco Collection in Gorge. Next, we're going to set the brows in clear a MAC brow set and last we're going to spray the face with NYX matte finishing long lasting spray and my hair is paparazzi hair boutique yes and this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for joining me I really do appreciate it you guys have a wonderful New Year's I'll see you guys on main focus 
Monday.